And what's up mga ka-Brady? Kamusta kayong lahat? It is another great day today. Welcome back to our channel. At kung bago ka lang sa channel ko, ay gumagawa po ako ng mga videos na may kinalaman sa mundo ng aviation at sa pagiging isang aircraft mechanic. At kung di ka pa lang subscribe sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell para like kang updated sa ating mga bagong videos. So yun mga ka-Brady, I'm sure nabasa mo na sa title at kaya ka napabisita sa ating channel. Kaya ka nagkaroon interes para panoorin ng video na Dahil po, sa vlog natin ngayon mga kabarini, pag-uusapan natin ang mga dahilan ng ilan sa mga babae kong estudyante sa Pats College of Aeronautics na kumukuha ng ATC or ng BSANT. Pero bago tayo magsimula, bakit ko ba naisip na gumawa ng ganitong klaseng content, ng ganitong klaseng vlog? Um, dahil kalimitan po, especially kapag uh, first time ko pa lang na Uh, i-handle yung uh, students na yon, yung mga estudyante na yon, I would often ask them kung ano ba yung reason, ano ba yung deepest why nila kung bakit nila naisipang kumuha ng aircraft maintenance related courses, kagaya nga po ng AMT at ng ATC. Ang dahilan ko dito is dahil alam po natin special dun sa mga current nagtatrabaho na or dun sa mga naghahanap ng trabaho sa aviation industry na hindi po basta-basta ang career na Uh, kumbaga tinatahak natin so just like any other careers and any other job syempre marami pong uh, pagsubok kumbaga marami kang hirap marami kang pagod na kailangan isakripisyo para maabot mo yung karir mo and kung meron kang greatest why ika nga meron kang mas malalim na reason kung bakit gusto mong ipursue ang karir na to then definitely mag stick ka doon anumang hirap ang maranasan mo anumang problema or anumang uh, discouragement maybe ang may experience mo Uh, while you are pursuing the career, syempre, tuloy-tuloy ka pa rin dahil nga doon sa biggest why mo. So hopefully po, at the end of this video ay ma-inspire namin kayo kahit pa paano. And this is also our way of, uh, syempre, saying thank you. And uh, pagsasalubo na rin po sa lahat ng mga kawalian out there. Ano mang career, ano mang field po ang meron kayo. Maraming maraming salamat for inspiring each and every one of us, syempre. Sa pagpapatunay po na... Ano mang gawain, ano mang trabaho, ano mang career sa buhay na kayang gawin namin mga kalalakihan ay pwedeng pwede rin pong gawin ninyong mga kababaihan. So kami po ay saludo sa inyo syempre. So yun, simulan natin mga kabrainy! So yung mga kabrainy, simulan natin sa tanong nga na bakit ka kumuha ng aircraft maintenance uh, course. So ito ang sagot ng ilan sa ating mga estudyante. Uh, first, we have from Miss Kabite Shaira na isa pong BSAMT student. Sabi niya, for me po, nag-take ako ng AMT because I want to join the Philippine Air Force. Pangarap ko po kasi na makapag-operate ng aircraft at the same time, military din. So AMT yung kinuha ko because mas marami po akong matututunan lalo sa power plant and airframe. And... Pag nasa Philippine Air Force na po ako, ay meron akong maishishare ng mga knowledge and skills, especially knowing the problems or issues of an aircraft. So yes po, uh, para sa kaalaman ng lahat, uh, for those of you who are planning to take the Aircraft Maintenance Technology course, pinag-aaralan po natin dyan ang mga basic operating principles, systems po ng power plant and airframe, ng aeroplano. And of course, sabi nga nila, what's more noble, kumbaga, na iporso mo yung karyer mo na may kinalaman sa aviation and while or while serving the country. So, I'm sure na hindi lang nag-iisa si Ms. Cavite na may planong maging bahagi po ng Philippine Air Force which uh, I'm pretty sure na kung meron mang nanonood ngayon na uh, miyembro or nagpaplano din na maging uh, bahagi ng Philippine Air Force is uh, I'm sure na time will come po na matutupad din ang mga pangarap niya. So, we have here next from Ms. Uy, Katrina, uh, na kumukuha naman po ng Aircraft Technician Course. Sabi niya, I chose this profession to be a stepping stone of my goal in life which is to become a successful aircraft mechanic. Not just in your typical airlines but also in a military plane as well. So kagaya po ni Ms. Cavite, pangarap din ni Ms. Uy na maging isang aircraft, successful aircraft mechanic sa mga military planes. So again, I'm sure na matutuwa po ang ating mga uniform men and women na nasa Philippine Air Force na marami po palang mga kabataan. Marami po pala mga estudyante na gustong-gustong makasali or maging miyembro po ng Philippine Air Force or syempre maging bahagi ng kanilang uh, maintenance and engineering department kumbaga. And actually po, uh, I have a lot of friends. Uh, may, meron din po akong mga naging batchmates noon, uh, coming from PATS as well, na ngayon po ay kasalukuyang miyembro ng Philippine Air Force who also serve as their aircraft mechanic. So definitely po, maraming opportunity dyan. And I wish syempre na itong dalawang uh, estudyante natin ay... Uh, 
someday ay maging part nga po ng ating Philippine Air Force. Alright mga kabrainis, so uh, next natin we have naman another BSMT student coming from Ms. Paz, uh, Regina Colin. Sabi niya, I chose AMT kasi personally I don't see myself working in an office pero of course corporate jobs are good naman. Nag-AMT ako because mas gusto ko yung hands-on na nakikita ko from start to finish yung isang bagay. Nakaka-enjoy din yung nagkakalikot ng parts. Plus points din yun as a woman, ganitong klase ng trabaho yung papangarapin mo. Sobrang fulfilling noon kasi napatunayan at mapapatunayan ng mga kababaihan na kaya din natin ang mga trabaho ang akala ng iba is pang lalaki lang. So yes po, tama yan. Uh, I always actually tell my students na from uh, a short period of time na nagtrabaho po ako sa field, I have witnessed a lot of women po who are also doing yung heavy work, heavy job na ginagawa ng mga kalalakihan na nasa aviation industry. So, uh, nakakatuwang isipin syempre na sa mundo ng aviation ay pantay-pantay po uh, anumang um, gender preferences meron ka as long as you are capable of doing this particular task so wala pong magiging imposible. So, uh, yes po, gaya nga sinabi natin kanina sa simula na ating video, this is our way of showing appreciation syempre dun sa mga kababaihan na patuloy na ginagawa yung best nila para mag-excel sa anumang field po na meron sila. Um, next is coming from Miss Fajardo Aliza, which is another BSAMT student. Sabi niya, For me, it is my dream to be a successful pilot someday and I chose to take AMT as a stepping stone to achieve my goal. Aside from this, I also consider myself as a mechanic in the future. May it be the ones we see in the ramp or the technicians who are working in the hangar. I envision myself as working with the aircraft, repairing components to ensure a safe flight for our passengers. I often got questions on why I chose a male-dominated course. It is because if men can do the work, then sure women can too. I am passionate in uh, being a pilot or an aircraft mechanic in the future. Sabi pa niya, I am inspired with a lot of women who are working in the aviation field such as... Ayun, Uh, ang pilot po na si Ms. Cheska Karandang which I'm sure na very um, kilala po isang sikat na uh, piloto to motivate me to pursue what I love and as the saying goes passion is the fuel behind successful career. So very well said po uh, coming from Ms. Fajardo yung reason niya, reasons niya kung bakit niya naisipang uh, kumuha ng aircraft maintenance technology course so uh, again, yun nga po uh, kagaya ng nabanggit ni Ms. Fajardo Uh, she was also inspired by um, another woman who is excelling sa career niya as uh, a pilot, si Ms. Cheska Karandang. Actually, ako pinafollow ko rin siya sa TikTok and uh, I also watch her video sa uh, YouTube channel niya. So if you haven't checked, uh, kung ikaw ay aviation uh, student, um, I'm, I highly recommend na panoorin mo yung mga videos ni uh, Ms. Cheska Karandang. So, yun po. Um, gaya ng nabanggit kanina ni Ms. Paz na Um, karamihan sa ating mga estudyanteng babae na kumukuha ng mga male-dominated courses bukod sa aviation-related courses uh, they also wanted to kumbaga, prove na kaya talaga nilang gawin yung mga trabaho uh, na ginagawa or kalimitang uh, ginagawa ng mga kalalakihan and again, I don't see uh, anything wrong okay? na kumuha yung mga kababayan ng mga courses na before or usually Eh, iniisip natin na pang lalaki lang. Kumbaga, mga kabrini, mas challenging yon And syempre, kung mas challenging isang trabaho, isang career, kung mas, mara, mas mataas yung risk, eh, mas fulfilling. Kumbaga. So, yun. Okay, so another one, mga kabrini. Uh, again, coming from another ATC student, aircraft technician course student, we have from Miss Salurio Andrin. Sabi niya, I took up the aircraft technician course for the reason that it is fun and exciting. Oh, tama yon The idea of working with my hands and using my brain is the reason why I chose this field and keeping the sky safe is a job that I want to be part of. Taking this course closes no doors to new opportunities to learn and sharpen my skills. So, um, ako actually, isa rin to sa mga reasons ko before nung nagsisimula ako, nag-aaral pa lang ako uh, sa PADS way back 2005. Um, parang mas gusto ko na laging busy yung kamay ko, laging everyday, kumbaga iba't ibang... Uh, iba't ibang trabaho yung gagawin mo every day may panibago kang matututunan every day may panibagong challenge may panibagong idea may panibago kang pag-a-apply ng skills mo ng mga trainings na napagdaanan mo so ang 
uh, aircraft maintenance related courses, yung pagiging isang aircraft mechanic po, again, lagi natin sinasabi sa mga video natin, na very challenging. And yung learning po dito is a continuous process. Well, just like any other career din naman, sa atin po bilang isang aircraft mechanic, patuloy po tayong nag-training, patuloy tayong kumukuha ng mga refresher courses, patuloy tayong, kasi tuloy-tuloy din po yung pag update syempre ng mga components, ng mga parts ng aircraft, uh, tuloy-tuloy yung pag-develop ng mga newly sophisticated yung mga highly technological na mga components na meron sa aeroplano. So, hindi pwedeng maging stagnant yung knowledge natin. Kaya naman, uh, kung kayo po ay uh, yung tipo ng estudyante na gustong la may bago laging kaalaman, may bago laging uh, uh, knowledge, may bago laging experience na gustong matutunan, then uh, I think na yung pagkuha po ng AMT or ng ATC or any uh, aircraft maintenance related courses po ay uh, magiging uh, kumbaga fun and exciting uh, para sa inyo. So yun mga ka um, ang pang-anin natin parang Miss Universe lang yun. So, um, again, coming from another BSAMT student, we have Gallego Jurik. So, bakit siya kumuha ng AMT? Sabi niya, a lot of women today are entering the diversity of work as they are engaging in aviation which we know is dominated by men. I took this course knowing how heavy this job is because I wanted to have a background about the aircraft as my dream to become a pilot. Years passed. Being an AMT student, I discovered a lot about being an AMT and how they do their job. The aircraft mechanic is one who keep the aircraft airworthy, and being a mechanic requires the biggest responsibility to maintain the aircraft. AMT course gave me an advantage to know the procedures of an aircraft. So yes po, uh, meron nga, sinasabi nga na if the uh, pilot is considered to be the heart okay, of an aircraft, the one who maintains, syempre, who makes sure that the aircraft is airworthy, the one uh, who is responsible in making sure that the air transportation is safe, okay, is nandyan din po syempre yung ating mga aircraft mechanics. So, part po na ating responsibilities, part po na ating trabaho, na siguraduhin po na maayos syempre, nakasunod sa manual, nakasunod po sa procedures yung ginagawa nating trabaho. So, I always tell my students nga na, uh, kapag nag-aaral tayo, for example, pinagawa tayo ng assignment ng project, kapag nagkamali ka, maaaring pagsabihan ka ng instructor mo, maaaring ipaulit sa'yo yung gawa mo. But then, kapag ikaw ay nagtrabaho na, a very simple mistake, a very simple kumbaga, mishandling yung trabaho mo, miscommunication o kung ano man, may actually lead to either an incident or an accident. And syempre, at the end of the day, ayaw natin mangyari yun. So, again, uh, very complex yung trabaho ng pagiging isang aircraft mechanic uh, very challenging but then again, at the end of the day, it's very rewarding